Assalamu alaikum and hello, hello. Welcome to my brand new podcast. <sighs> my brand new podcast, which at the time of recording this, I have not named because similar to when I was an editor and writing coach, titles were the thing that I struggled with the most and kind of had to leave until the very last minute. So by the time you're hearing this, there will be a title on this podcast. But as I'm recording it, it's nah, it's not there. And if you are not familiar with me, welcome. Thank you for being part of my virtual world. My name is Layinka Sunny. Yes, Layinka is my real name. And it comes from my full name, which is Ola Yinka. Said exactly like that in Yoruba. Sing song tone, beautiful. Yes, I know. <laughs> Ola Yinka. And that means wealth surrounds me in my native language of Yoruba, which is one of the three main tribal languages in Nigeria, where my family and I originally hail from. So um, what was I saying? Okay, so if you have been following me from the past, you'll know that I had a, a an old podcast called Friday Feelers, which I brought out every single Friday for a kind of a dose of inspiration in your inbox, right? And that I, I ran that for like three years, two, three years straight. And it was nice. Um, <laughs> it was nice. It was fun. But, you know, I have found that I have really evolved. I have really grown over the last few years, mainly as I have grown in my work as a neuro-linguistic programming therapist. Now, you're probably listening to that thinking, you, you, who, what, what? Well, I am an NLP, neuro-linguistic programming therapist, and I can't read your mind. I don't know what's going on in there. I can't fix your mind. So let's kind of get all the things out of the way that I can't do. <laughs> I can't like make you do ridiculous things through hypnotherapy. But what I can do is help to empower you, help you to rise from the depths of pain, help you to get into the driving seat of your thoughts and emotions, and ultimately to transform into the woman that you were created to be. And, you know, I have so much to say, <laughs> if you haven't already noticed, I have so much to say on the topics of healing, empowerment, and growth. And those three strands are actually the basis, like the, the, the thing that my work embodies, healing from past pain, from past uh, events, just healing and empowering ourselves and using that as a springboard in order to grow. I have got so many things to share with you. I'm probably going to share some like stories along the way. And this podcast is going to be really different from my Friday feelers because Layinka has expanded in heart, in the way I view myself, the way I view the world. And so you're going to kind of get a different flavor from what you were used to in Friday feeler podcast. So it's, this is very much raw, unedited, unscripted. It's going to be very free flow like you know grab a cup of tea girl and let's let's talk about some some things in the way of healing in the way of growth and the way of empowerment one thing i do want to say if you have been listening to me watching me following me for a long time one thing you might not actually know because not hide it but i i kind of have learned to manage it very well i've got a slight What's it called? A slight speech impediment. So I stammer a little bit. And now that I've said it, you're probably going to notice it more. And you're probably going to rewind this and think, nub, 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 nub. yeah, there it is. So like you might find me pausing and that's my, uh, that's often my, my management <laughs> of my speech impediment. And if you're kind of, if you've got to this point thinking, oh, I didn't even know Linka. Well, now you know. And like I said, you know, this, this podcast is going to be really different. And I think more conversational, a little bit more intimate, not so like rigid <laughs> as my as my Friday feelers tended to be. And with that free flow, I believe 
it kind of helps to foster more authenticity and vulnerability within ourselves and and i'm hoping that it <laughs> i'm laughing because now that i've told you i've got a speech impediment it's come to the four the four of my m mind and my brain is playing tricks on me saying oh what well that whole management thing you had going on Lienka, is all gone out the window ah uh, yeah should have anticipated that as a nlp therapist cool all right so never mind that <laughs> like i said this is raw and unscripted so i'm not gonna edit that out but <sighs> lost my trail of thought yeah so let's let's talk about me for a bit especially for those who don't know me very well i'm a mother of uh, three <laughs> forgot the number of kids i have i've got three kids currently at the time of recording they are 15 almost 16 13 almost 13 and a half and four almost four and a half and the first reaction i get when people hear the ages of my kids especially with the gap between my middle and last child so empress one and empress two is that oh you took a bit of a gap um yeah that gap is actually down to divorce choosing not to get married for several years and then getting married and choosing not to have any more kids <laughs> for several years so that gap wasn't a kind of conscious hmm let me have a hiatus from childbearing and find myself kind of thing it was a life circumstance i mean if i had planned it i probably would not have planned to have a nine-year gap between my um first daughter my second but you know god and allah and I, and let me just point this out i have non-muslims who listen to this podcast as well so i will interchangeably be using god and allah and allah and god and i will be dropping some arabic words that i will probably start using the english version just for the non-muslim audience and i will still mention verses from the quran that are meaningful so if you benefit you benefit as a non-muslim if that's you and if you don't then you can just check it out the window if it doesn't resonate but yeah so i <sighs> yeah lost my trail of thought maybe this um kind of whole unscripted thing isn't gonna work <laughs> because <laughs> the Inca keeps losing her train of thought but yeah so my my kids my two two girls have a a big gap and you know i didn't plan it but god planned it perfectly i believe and i can see the benefits and the fruits of that and i love having um an in she's not an infant what do you call a four-year-old do you just call them a kid because she's not a toddler anymore what do you call them like just a child but she seems so young still anyway that's something to <laughs> that's something to talk about at some point but yeah I've, I've got these these little humans who just teach me every day and i'm learning from every day and have been a magnificent source of my growth and i'm gonna talk about that at some point they've been a magnificent source of my growth but let's see you know what are we gonna kind of explore what are some of the things we're gonna be exploring really 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 all things growth, all things empowerment, all things healing, and everything that falls in between the cracks of those and expands from those and branches from those and stems from those. I want to talk about that. And as you know, this is my work, the work of helping women rise from the depths of their pain, helping women heal, helping women really embrace themselves, helping women live, know, feel their self-worth, helping women find I've said it right, find themselves, um, helping women really get to know what's going on for them, really helping women change themselves internally in order to change themselves externally. And there is a very important verse in the Quran where we're told that Allah will not change a condition of a people until they change what is within themselves. And that's basically what everything I do stems from helping people change what is within them in order to affect the change they'd like to see they'd like to feel they'd like to have in their world and so you're going to hear a lot about that from me and i'm really excited i'm really excited for this new podcast i'm really excited for the newfound connections that we're going to be fostering together i'm really excited about the discussions that we're going to be having the things that i'm going to be bringing the just just the realness i'm excited for the newness and there might be times where i cry um because i'm a crier 
and I'm very much in touch with my emotions. So, you know, when I feel something deeply, tears come forth and that's exactly what's happening right now because I'm feeling this uh, podcast, like what the excitement of what's to come deeply and I'm just, yeah, I'm in the feels. I'm in the feels. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you ever kind of want to reach out to me, head on over to leyinkasani.com forward slash contact and we can make contact that way. I am on the socials, so Leyinka Sunny on pretty much most socials. Just Google my name. And something that I might also want to point out is that I'm from Southeast London, as in that's where, you know, I, I was raised, not born. Um, but you might, so that might mean that my Southeast London twang might come out once in a while. Like I said, this is Leanka Real Raw and just herself. And so my Southeast London twang might come out sometimes. And if, if you're kind of wondering what that sounds like, that sounds like that, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yes, I'm loving what is to come and I'm excited to really uh, connect with you through this podcast, which still remains unnamed so watch this space